Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's Dino Digest episode. Dino Digest is a weekly video newsletter where we answer questions from Dino users to help you use Dino better and in more creative ways in your classroom. Let's see what topic Maggie has for us today. Hey, Tiara. I'm so excited about this week's Dino Digest episode. This week's comment is from Sarah Westmoreland, and she was explaining how she's a veteran teacher and new to the virtual world, and she's really looking to find out new ways on how to use Dino to engage students and also learn a little bit more about documentation like screenshots or data capturing. That is a great topic, and I think there are so many ways we can use Dino for student engagement. So I'm really excited to answer Sarah's question. Let's jump into that explanation. All right, entry number one of the Dino Digest. Sarah's question was all about student engagement with Dino in a remote environment. And this takes me right back to a conversation that we had with Chuck Holland from Richland School District 2 a couple weeks ago. And Chuck really shared with us that his teachers have expressed that they're using Dino in really new and engaging ways during this time of remote learning. And it's no longer only a monitoring and blocking tool for their classroom, but they're using it to help guide formative assessment in the classroom and drive student engagement to really bridge that connection between teachers and students during this time and take their lessons to the next level. So I can't wait to share some of the things that Chuck shared with us to support this answer to Sarah's question. I'm gonna start off by just outlining, there are four main ways that we've heard teachers are really engaging students with Dino, and that is through formative assessment tools, saving time by pushing out links, troubleshooting with Dino, and looking at class history to reinforce good or bad behavior. So first off, formative assessment is super important, and I think especially during this remote learning time when you're not in the classroom with students and maybe can't check understanding on the spot and in a real life situation, Dino is a great tool for this. So right in the app, you can use the Dino polls to check understanding instantaneously, send out a poll to all of your students, see if they understand the lesson. If not, make adjustments. In the same sense, you can send out questions to your students, really check uh, what, they're, what they're learning, if they're learning it correctly. These can be answered in true or false format, yes or no format, or uh, multiple choice format. So these are really impactful for checking and understanding really quickly and getting a gauge of where students are. If you want a more personalized approach to formative assessment, you can use our messages tool, which can either go out to the class as a whole or to individual students to make sure that they're where they need to be and they're understanding everything. So that formative assessment piece was a huge thing for Chuck's teachers as he talked about how they were really grabbing that instant feedback from students during this time. The next way is uh, primarily for elementary students is saving time by pushing out links through Dino's message feature. So we talk about this a lot where you can push out a link to all students in your class through the messages feature and they will be redirected to that link instantly. This saves a ton of time and really keeps students engaged in what's going on in the class and doesn't redirect them to have to type in um, an address in their browser or anything like that, um, especially for elementary students who might not be as quick at typing. It really keeps that class pace going, keeps them engaged in what you're talking about. So we love hearing uh, teachers using that tool. The next one is troubleshooting. And this is something that I hadn't heard teachers were doing until this time of remote learning. So it's really exciting and a really creative way to use Dino. So we've heard a lot of teachers have been using Dino's big view feature to blow up student screens so that they can see what a student is doing. Um, and maybe if a student is having trouble logging into a certain site or having trouble with something on Google Classroom, a teacher can pop in a big view, look at what that student's doing, and then help them redirect and get where they need to be, um, share maybe the correct way to log in, the correct way to do what they are trying to complete in Google Classroom, um, and really do that directly in the Dino app without having to jump on a Zoom call or go through some other form of communication. So it's right there for you. You can go ahead and look at student screens and help them troubleshoot. And I think this takes out a lot of the uh, kind of back and forth that might happen with troubleshooting in the classroom or bringing a technology person into it to help you troubleshoot. So really easy for teachers to help students troubleshoot right from the Dino app in the big view. And then the last way, uh, the last part of Sarah's question was basically asking how she can grab documentation of students who are doing really well or maybe students who aren't coming to class or aren't doing as well. So I think we hear all the time that 
the class history feature in Dino is really, really impactful for this. So teachers can go ahead into class history and you can drill into one student specifically. So if a student's been doing really well in class and you wanna showcase that to parents, maybe during a parent teacher conference or to other teachers who are instructing them, you can go in and pull their class history and you'll be able to see that they were on task for the majority of your class and they were doing what they needed to be doing. And that really shows up into the time that they're putting in on their device and the different tools that they're using to complete that, whether it be research or writing or testing or quizzing, whatever it may be, you can see that they were where they needed to be and they were successful in doing those activities. On the flip side, if you are trying to get evidence that a student who isn't coming to class might not be performing as well, something like that, you can also use the class history to drill in on that student and you might see that they haven't been showing up in monitoring sessions because they weren't attending class that day or maybe they tried to attempt to get to uh, some blocked sites that were off task, like social media, things like that, um, and they weren't really trying to be as engaged in that lesson for that day. So we hear teachers use class history for both cases in you know, parent-teacher conferences to talk to the student directly about what's going on, how they're performing, um, and then to talk to faculty about, you know, maybe how that student's doing in other classes and see if that is a common trend. So those are the four ways that we have um, heard teachers are using Dino to increase student engagement. We hope these are going to answer your questions, Sarah, and we can't wait to hear how you're using Dino in your classroom for student engagement. So if you try any of these, please share with us. Um, let us know how it's going. We love to hear your feedback. We love to hear your Dino stories. Um, and a reminder for everyone else watching this, don't forget to submit new questions and topics for us if you have them. Once again, if we choose your topic for an episode, we'll send you a $10 gift card with some Dino swag to thank you for submitting a question to help out your fellow Dino users out there. Thanks for attending this episode of the Dino Digest and stay tuned for next week.